I'm John Anderson. And I'm Gary Seven. So, for our first story. A Seattle man who was chaperoning his daughter's fourth grade class on a field trip was arrested Wednesday after a fellow parent recognized him from a TV show of one of Washington State's most wanted fugitives. After being chased, he eventually turned himself in. The principal of Lowell Elementary School sent a note to parents telling him that the school conducts criminal background checks on all parent volunteers and that Vassar had not been cleared to chaperone. The principal later commented that it appears there was a miscommunication in the building that day. Miscommunication, my ass! Anyway, a Florida man accidentally threw away his wife's t custom-made $10,000 wedding ring, he, and he found it after digging 30 minutes in his local dump. He found It was surrounded by black sludge and wedged between two brown paper bags. I was ecstatic, he says in the Sun Sentinel. It was like winning the lottery. I guess what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> in other news, there was a surprise search in Alcapuco prison in Mexico. They found 100 plasma TVs, 19 prostitutes, 2 sacks of marijuana, and 2 peacocks. The peacocks were used for cockfights. Those weren't the cockfights I remember in prison. There was a lottery auctioning off a room with a refrigerator, flat screen TV, DVD player, and air conditioning. In related news, they were also decorating a new sign called Sandy Beach Prison Resort. And now for a commercial break. So, are you a person who suffers from excessive itching? Describe excessive. Do you suffer from occasionally mild slash severe <laughs> allergy symptoms? <coughs> or excessive fertility? It runs in the family. Then Allegra and birth control pills are right for you. And people who are known to take these pills have actually gained excessive amounts of weight, as much as 7% of their body mass index in 14 weeks. But this is especially a problem for those who take their pills excessively. And the worst part is, they don't stop there. And then the signs really start showing. And eventually, you become morbidly obese. So anyway, we can just see the gap we just came to. We were not commercial. Oh Jesus. Ooh, shiny. News, a Moorhead, Minnesota waitress received a $12,000 tip. After asking the police what to do with it, they confiscated it and claimed it as drug money. In other news, the police threw one heck of a party. Woo! Party! Yeah! Go party! Party! No? No? Okay. Earlier this week, a woman was pulled over in a stolen vehicle. At the time, she was texting, unbuckled, and had her one-year-old daughter on her lap. When she was asked what she was doing, she said, the baby was crying, so I, to comfort her, I put her on my lap. Yeah, I would feel comfortable sitting on my mom's lap while she's unbuckled and texting, oh, and matter of fact, she's in a stolen car. In other news, say aluminum. 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 Again. Aluminum. Again. Aluminum. Again. Aluminum. Again. Aluminum. Again. Stop. And now on to the weather. Weather? Thank you, you two. Now, as you can see, our purple screen is broken. Um, excuse me, audience, but I have been informed our screen is green. Either way, you see it as a blue. You have a bright blue sky in front of you. But that doesn't matter because it is 93 degrees in Arkansas. Back to you. In international news, in Brazil, the play production of The Passion of Christ started, but the show came to a screeching halt when the person playing Judas Iscariot in the suicide scene actually hanged himself. The people didn't realize that there was something wrong until about four minutes later. 
How were people so unobservant? I know. I mean, you would notice him screaming there, screaming for help. Why wouldn't you do anything? I really don't think that's part of the performance. I mean, plus, dead body smell for four minutes? Yeah. If someone farts, everyone points fingers, but dead body? I guess Nothing. not. Nothing. I guess Brazil, they're a lot more lenient. Come on, Brazil. Come on. Come on. Really. In more unrelated news, our very own Storville High School has issued a new school dress code policy. Your shorts can no, be, no longer be any shorter than the palms of your hands. I mean the tips of your fingers. I mean two inches longer than the tips of your fingers. Who really knows? Hopefully this is only for females, though. And this has been our K-A-K-E newscast. Thank you for joining us. I'm Don Anderson. And I'm Gary Seth. Good night. And good day. It's also national awareness. If you realize that, I mean, it, it, Right here. Like my lady window. Oh, no, okay, so I don't think for <laughs> Okay, let's start the scene before I die. Hmm. Okay. Are you ready again? Okay, what are we doing? Um, Actually, when they started. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know. Hey, stop it! You can start the story. <laughs> the news, a Florida man who accidentally hit the bed. That was great! That was one! Today, it would be on Facebook. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the lottery. I guess what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> Party, we're gonna start. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy. We should just get up and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> no, get back down! Front <laughs> <laughs> row seat! <laughs> right there! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> in prison in Mexico. They found 100 plasma TVs. Hey! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on! Okay, then what did you two do with the body when you were done? What did you do? <laughs> Come on! Stop laughing! Really like one, and then two, three, yes, four, five, six, <laughs> yeah. seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! My mom's. <laughs> oh, Steven. <laughs> I can't hear I can't hear it. Boom. Gabe just went straight. Gabe just went straight. Oh, out of it. Crap. Gabe! That's how Gabe. Weather? <laughs> Way to go. Ah! Purple <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna pull <laughs> <laughs> And do it again. Stop it! <laughs> I'm not kidding! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>